In this video, we'll balance the net ionic equation for MnO2 plus HCl. This is manganese 4 oxide plus hydrochloric acid. The first thing we do with net ionic equations, we balance the molecular equation. I've balanced it here already. If you need some help balancing the molecular equation, there's a link in the description for this video. Next, we write the states for each substance. So for the manganese oxide, if we look at a solubility chart here, you'll notice that the oxides here, all of those, almost all of those are insoluble when you put them in water. So manganese oxide, while it's not on this chart, it is also insoluble in water. Because of that, we're going to put an S. It's going to be a solid. It won't dissolve. Hydrochloric acid, that's a strong acid. That's going to be aqueous, dissolve, dissociate into its ions. Chlorides, very soluble. The chlorine, Cl2, that's just a gas. And water is a liquid. So we have the states. Now we can split the strong electrolytes into ions for the complete ionic equation. MnO2, that's a solid. So we just write MnO2. And I'll write the states at the end. Hydrogen group 1, 1 plus ionic charge, Cl1 minus. So we have four hydrogen ions, four of those hydrogen ions, plus four chloride ions, Cl minus. Those are the reactants in our net ionic equation. In the products, the manganese here, you can't really tell the charge just looking at this. You have to look at what it's bonded to since it's a transition metal. We said the chlorine has a 1 minus, and we have two of them. This has to be 2 plus. So this will be manganese 2 chloride. So we have our Mn2 plus ion. We have two of those chloride ions. We don't split gases apart, so we have Cl2. And we don't split water apart, so we just have H2O. This is the complete ionic equation. Now we can cross out the spectator ions. They're on both sides of the complete ionic equation. Looking at this equation, we have four chlorines here and two here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cross these two out and cross out two of these, which will just leave me with two chloride ions here. And that's all I can cross out. This is going to be the net ionic equation for MnO2 plus HCl. Let me clean this up and write the states in. We'll have our net ionic equation. So this is the balanced net ionic equation for manganese 4 oxide plus hydrochloric acid. When we look at it, charge is conserved. We have a 4 plus here and the 2 minus. So that's going to give us a 2 plus. In the products, we see there's a 2 plus. So the charge is conserved. And if you count the atoms up, each type of atom on both sides, you'll see that mass is conserved as well. This is Dr. B. And thanks for watching.